We're here today in Wayne County with Dr. John Hass. So we're here today to learn a little bit about bears. Mm -hmm. And interestingly enough, we're gonna actually go and check out a potential mother bear that yep. may have some cubs, right? Mm -hmm. So how long have you been doing this project? How many bears have you got to sample? And what are you, what are you finding out? Yeah, so over the years, I mean, going back to when uh, I was at the University of Kentucky and the people before me there, we've been doing bear dens since about 2002, 2003. So we've got a huge, long 20 plus year data set. As bears have increased their population here in Kentucky and we've moved into a hunting season, this has been something we've been doing really since there were bears in Kentucky. A long piece of ribbon. We'll go in on that side and then we'll climb up on top of that log and drop off. Mike was the easiest way in. Tired. Appreciate it. What we got today, litter size, and then what is the sex ratio of that litter. Uh, this particular bear, this is the second time we've dinned her. She's been wearing a collar for about four and a half years. And that's the other thing we do. This is a good, easy opportunity to update her collar. So two years from now, we'll probably come back and, and check her out again. Some bears in Kentucky don't do true hibernation. A lot of times they're just very lethargic and they'll come out of their dens at times. And that's what we're looking at right now. She is awake in the sense that she is cognizant of what's going on around her. Something that's very typical that we deal with when we do the DMs. So ideally what we want to do is get the dart to the shoulder, the muscle group there, and the fat. The content is not as thick as the shoulder. It's safe for the animal. So it takes about on average, 10 to 12 minutes for the drug to start working, depending on the shop placement. So about 12 minutes, we should see that induction start to happen. That's all I see is two. Got their eyes opening, about a month old. My little thing, man. That's a male. Any other information in the 20 plus years you guys have been doing bear study that you just find very interesting? Yeah, the biggest thing that I think, and it's a, it's a wonder of the bear world, is they will reproductively compensate based on like their density. If they're in a place with a high density, they're gonna produce more male offspring that then disperse out. So they're leaving that area. So somehow they can tell physiologically that the place has got a lot of bears, they have more males, those males leave. So they're almost controlling the population a little bit on their own oh, biologically. Right. Yeah. yeah, and so down here, this is a little bit younger population. We're not as high of a density. We are seeing more females. So when you look at our sex ratio between say Wayne and McCreary County to Harlan, Letcher, Pike, places we've had bears for a long time now, it is more skewed to females down here. And it tells us a little bit about how our populations are growing. The rate of these cubs that are making it to adulthood is pretty high in Kentucky, isn't it? It is. We don't have a lot of really good information on that true cub survival, but around the area, including what the numbers we've got, about 80 to 90 percent. Wow, that's spectacular. So, yeah, it shows how quickly our, our populations grow. So what we do with all our cubs is we put a pit tag in them, which is a passive integrated transponder. They'll have a unique barcode to each individual and this will stay with them for the entirety of their life but we can take a scanner and be able to find those later on if this bear comes up if we catch it again or if it shows up in harvest we'll be able to identify that bear and when we caught it so between the sex and the number that's in the litter that provides us with good data for our population estimation so these just go under the skin And that's it. What we did today is a big component of, of understanding how many new bears we're recruiting into the population annually. And you guys have got a lot of metrics set into your bear season, if you're not a bear hunter, to know that you're trying not to take females and you're trying not to take younger bears. Yeah, exactly. This is a, a great thing to point out. So with our den work, we know that our females that are expecting cubs go in the den mid-December. So I always get a lot of questions about why is our late rifle season in December so late. Part of it is be conservative or protecting some of these bears that we know we're having cubs that year. It can make hunting a little bit tougher, but at the same time, it's an opportunity to get out. 
it's gonna take more of those younger males. It's a conservative way to protect the resource yep. and provide opportunity, and that's really what the Department of Fish and Wildlife tries to do. Exactly. Provide opportunity, protect the resource. Mm -hmm.